Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'm not going to do the usual begging for likes, subs, follows, or support. You can find those elsewhere. This video is about someone who needs the help a hell of a lot more than I do. There have now been two people severely injured during the making of Batwoman. The first was Ruby Rose. Now, she had to undergo surgery after sustaining a severe injury on set. Specifically, she herniated two discs in her spine while doing stunts, resulting in the loss of feeling in her arms. She was told she needed emergency surgery or she could become paralyzed. Luckily, the surgery was a success. Now, this comes on the heels of a 2018 back surgery, at which time she told People Magazine, quote, For the past decade, I've been dealing with a spine issue. I am now recovering from a back procedure, but I do need to stay active, so before I get seen with my cane and wheelchair in public, I'd rather put it out there that I'm fine and I'm going to be fine. So Ruby Rose had a prior condition and then did some stunts that caused two herniated discs that risked paralysis. And I have to tell you, multiple injuries like this are going to come back and bite you in the ass later on in life. Just ask any professional wrestler who's been around for very long. So let's be clear. If your actor is doing stunts that can result in any kind of injury, then your production is fracked up. In the first place, the reason that they have stunt persons is precisely so that they don't expose actors to unnecessary risks. Actors spend their time training how to make an effective and moving performance. Stunt persons spend their time training how to look like they're fighting with each other while not actually fighting with each other, and yet how to make it look exciting on screen. Do you see the difference, you idiots at Batwoman? Only foolish actors do their own stunts. <laughs> Tom Cruise, you're living on borrowed time. But only foolish productions allow actors to do their own stunts. They're not trained to do stunts at all. Now, in a good production, while there may be some risk of injury to a stunt person, if they're well trained, well choreographed, and well rehearsed, the risk drops to a minimum. But they're trained for this. This is what they do for a living, and actors do not. A production allowing actors to do things for which they've never been trained is foolishly dangerous. Ruby Rose should never have been placed in a dangerous situation in the first place. It is the fault of an incompetent production staff that put her at risk of being paralyzed. And that ain't the worst of it by far. <sighs> Amanda Smith a, a stand-up comedian and a production assistant on Batwoman was seriously injured as the result of an on-set accident. Now, in case you don't know, um, a boom lift was involved here, and that's an articulated frame that allows people to stand inside some kind of platform, and they use this frame to get where they need to do to work. You, you've probably seen them used for tree cutting or used for work on, you know, lines attached to power or telephone poles. But the difference in a movie set is that the cage is replaced with a camera and a seat for the cameraman. And this allows them to take shots, as you can see right now over here. It takes them, allows them to take shots that move up and down and side to side um, to get in to see the action. And you can see another one here if you want to. There's another movie set over here utilizing them, but there's one right here. Um, this one happens to have uh, lighting equipment on it rather than, and there we have one again with a camera on it. But they're used uh, just like the one you see here in my green screen, which is, you know, here they've got a bunch of lighting equipment attached to the one, but they're used exactly for the same thing for uh, cameras. So on March 11th, 2020, this year, Amanda Smith was unable to hear a boom lift coming down above her due to the noise from the traffic where the filming was taking place. And this resulted in the boom lift being smashed onto Smith's head. And this resulted in two burst discs in her spinal column. She had surgery to fuse the remaining discs, but is now paralyzed and cannot feel anything from the waist down. Now, I've worked in areas where boom lifts like this one have been used in construction, and yet somehow their accident rating is so low as to be statistically insignificant. So this 
Batwoman production was so utterly incompetent that not only did it send Ruby Rose to the hospital in order to prevent being paralyzed, it actually caused Amanda Smith to become paralyzed. Oh, and by the way, is Warner Brothers Television paying for her expenses? Oh, hell no! For that, you need to go to a GoFundMe. And I strongly urge both my viewers and anyone else to contribute to this GoFundMe and tell all of your friends to do the same. It is the Amanda Smith Rehabilitation Fund. You can find it at www.gofundme.com slash F slash Amanda dash Smith dash Rehabilitation dash Fund. You can see it here on the screen next to me and it's scrolling past in my lower third from time to time. Now, in this, I would make a particular plea to fans. Contrary to popular belief at the present, fans have bitched, argued, and debated the finer points of our genre since science fiction fandom began in the 1920s. However, when the chips are down, we have never failed to come together in order to help one of our own. Now, it's true, Batman, Batwoman may be the dumbest show on TV with the worst safety record I've heard of in decades. But being there makes Amanda Smith one of our own. She's paralyzed, possibly permanently, and her production company doesn't give a flying frack about her. So we need to step up. We need to show everyone what I have seen time and again since I was a fan die Padawan. We put aside whatever differences that we may have, and we lend a helping hand. Because we're fans. This is part of who we are. When one of our own is down, we have never failed to help them up. It is our birthright and our obligation as fans. We will never let one of our own suffer if we can help it. Never. Beyond that, there is an actually true story that my regular viewers may have heard, but it bears repeating on occasions such as this. When I was 19 years old, I found myself hitchhiking from a small town in Minnesota to where I was working, which was a boys camp about 40 miles away. There was a tornado warning, which at that time meant that a tornado had actually been sighted on the ground. Hitchhiking is just about the worst place to be when that happens. If a tornado actually hits, the best you can do is dive into a ditch and hope for the best. However, in my case, a passing motorist stopped to pick me up. He took me all the way to the camp gates, which were well out of his way. He said that it was his obligation that for help he had once received, he must in return help ten others, each of whom would then help ten others, so that good deeds would spread out like ripples from a pebble in a pond. Since that time, I have kept the obligation. It's been 36 years. I don't know how many times I've helped those who are in need, but it's hopefully over 10 by now. I've never really kept count. I was one of that man's 10. The people that I've helped were one of mine, and in each case I explained the obligation and then passed it on. Now, of course, you're under no obligation, but I would ask you to take up the obligation of your own accord. Make Amanda Smith one of your ten. And in any case, it is your obligation as fans. In 55 years, I have never seen fans fail to help out when one of our own is down. So Amanda, Amanda Smith is one of our own, and she needs a helping hand. And I know that as a fan, you'll do what fans has al have always done. She may work for an absolutely incompetent production company, but we are fans. We always put aside our differences to help our own. So please, donate to the Amanda Smith Rehabilitation Fund. There is a link to it in my description box. You can see it over here, and it's scrolling past in my lower third from time to time. And so that is all that I have to say about that. I would love to keep this conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to get back to you. So do please, thanks for watching, and please do donate to the Amanda Smith Rehabilitation Fund, a link in my description box below. And that is all the time that we have today for this episode of Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled 
to My Opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.